Well, it's that time. It's a Saturday morning. That means we have to talk to the rock star of the realty world, Michelle Cummins, on the Cummins Real Estate Group Show. How are you doing, Michelle? I love it that you say we have to talk to. I'm doing good. I am rocking and rolling all day and all night long, Curtis. How about you? Uh, you know, as much as I can at this point in my life, yes. Well, it's a short life. You got to you know, got to have fun. I rock and roll an adequate amount of time for my age group. Let's say that. Let's put it that way. I'm sure you do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know if you're as excited as me for this show today, but we have, of course, it's our stat show. Well, I don't know if I could quite be as possibly as excited about stats as you are, but I do enjoy hearing you tell me about the stats, but you get really excited about the stats. I do. It's um, as a, it's like a birthday every every month for me, and uh, so that's how I feel about it. It's like a gift every month. <laughs> in our in our second segment, we have a guest a call in. Betty Lou Fa is called in, and she is with Send Out Cards, and it's uh, uh, something I've been using for the last so many months now, and I love it, and it's so fabulous. So it's. It's awesome, and so definitely she has some good um, uh, tips for keeping in contact with your loved ones and friends and impromptu gifts, and oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Very cool. Uh, yeah, it's unique, and it's a way of, uh, I'll just let her explain it later, but, but it's, it's been fun <laughs> using her services and so personalized. So, uh, But yeah, I wanted to ask, though, because I actually... I went away just this week for a couple of days. I did for the first time in many, many years, many eons. I actually went away for two nights. Wow, that must have been like the strangest thing for you to actually get away. It was. It really was. I I I got away with my sister in laws and sisters and like pretty family family. It was kind of a girls getaway. And we went up to, like, in between, we actually went through, I went through for the first time since it burnt down, Linton, Linton. Have you ever, have you been through there since it burnt? No, I have not been there since the fires, no. it's It's been a while since I've been through that stretch of the canyon anyway, but not since the fires, no. Oh, I, I, it's, it, it, yeah, it's, it's mind-blowing what happened and as you drive through it it's even more real right um but yeah they it was in between Lytton and little little Let that we went and it was yeah it's 112 acres and crazy mountains and the river and it's just beautiful it's made you think made you think of montana didn't it it did it did and we atv'd and i took this tracker down this hill like straight down and like it was it was awesome, and there's like a cliff on one side, and it's danger zone, right? And it's like, oh, love it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> where your life is in front of you if you're not careful. Hopefully the brakes work. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, and then the way up. It, but it, I got to gold mine. I, I, I brought my gold mining cans, and I brought my metal detector, and I, did, I didn't find anything, you know, worth any value, really. But I had a lot of fun in those trying <laughs> so we're not retiring anytime soon is what you're saying no no not at all <laughs> uh but i i'm gonna go back again because it was so much fun and until you get out and do things in life you don't realize what you're missing and that's just that's like i like to tell everyone that is get out once in a while and smell the roses and live your life and you know just just explore well you know i can relate because uh, a little different but uh today later on today I'm getting back at it, and I'm going to start playing softball again. Oh, how fun. I like softball better than hardball. Well, you may re- remember a few years ago when I ruptured my Achilles. I got three games into the season and blew out my Achilles tendon. Oh, I have uh, three games today. So the- <laughs> We'll see how I make out. Uh, okay, are you going to videotape it? I don't know if I'll be able to videotape, but you never know. Maybe there's a chance we'll do something like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, and do a bo- boomerang. A boomerang? Okay. No, I'm not going to be doing any boomerangs, Michelle. No, that that just sounds like a bad life choice. Are you like batting? Or are you pitching? Or what? What are you going to play? Are you going to play the outfield? Or 
generally leave me in the outfield, yeah, that's a good spot for me. But uh, it'll be interesting this year because uh, my uh, 17-year-old son is now old enough to play. So Cody is going to be actually uh, playing for our team here and there. And tomorrow he's going to be playing with his old man in the tournament. Awesome. Says you because he's a better he's a bet I'm supposed to be the ball player. He's a better player than me. I don't like that. <laughs> well, you know the son outdoes the father many, many times. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know what? But it's because you train him so well. <laughs> no, it's his natural athletic ability, but I don't like to go there. Are there spectators for your game? I assume so. Well not not to watch me anyway. If there's spectators, I want to come. I want to <laughs> watch this game. I'll videotape it. <laughs> <laughs> well, people don't want to hear about me playing baseball. They probably want to hear about the stats, Michelle. Oh, the stats. Okay, so the Fraser Valley Real Estate Stats. So this came out uh, April 4th. So that was the day it came out. And uh, the headline is continued growth in new listings, a hopeful sign for home buyers in the Fraser Valley. And further, for the third consecutive month, new listings in the Fraser Valley continue to climb in March, giving buyers more to choose from, helping to increase overall activity and inventory to levels not seen since last July. Property sales remain robust as benchmark prices, the price of a typical home, continue to increase month over month. And that is for the typical home. So in March, uh, the Fraser Valley Real Estate Board processed 2,580 residential and commercial sales on the MLS. That's a decrease of 22.5% compared to March of last year and a 41.4% more than we were processed there in February. So it shows that that the activity was up from February. Now, Sandra Benz is our new president of the Fraser Valley Real Estate Board. I know Sandra years and years and years back. I've been doing this for 19 years locally, and I was volunteered for many years at the Government Relations Committee on the Fraser, or in the Fraser Valley Real Estate Board. And actually, I think I believe I met her the first year I was on that committee. So she's volunteered many, many, many uh, days and, and time uh, for property rights. And so she's our new president of the Real Estate Board. And so you'll hear me quote her once a month moving forward for this year. Uh, so she says that sales were strong again in March as more new listings continued to come on stream. We're hopeful this will con- contribute to a slowing in price growth, which is good news for the home buying public. Other encouraging signs, such as less open houses traffic and fewer multiple offers, may help us get to a more balanced market. However, until the fundamental issue of lack of supply is addressed, we won't see that happen anytime soon. The board received 4,580 new listings in March. That's a decrease of 10% compared to March of last year and 22.4% more than were processed in February. That total active inventory for March was at 4,699, and that's a decrease of 6.2% compared to last year's 5,012 active listings. However, 24% higher than last month. So across the Fraser Valley in March, the average number of days to sell a single-family detached home was only 12 days, and a townhome was 14 days, and apartments took, on average, 11 days to sell. Relatively quick. That's pretty swift. And the benchmark prices overall in the Fraser Valley for single-family detached homes are at $1,726,900, and that's an increase of 3.4% compared to February and an increase of 39.5% compared to last year in March. Townhouses overall at $886,400, and that benchmark price is an increase of 5.4% compared to February and an increase of 41.9% compared to last year's March. And apartments at $643,000, that benchmark price is an increase of 4.6% compared to February and an increase of 38.2% compared to March of last year. And then uh, going into the municipality by municipality, starting with Abbotsford, Benchmark prices are at for detached homes 
1,522,500. That's an increase of 42.5% from last year and an increase of 1.3% from the month before. However, if you look at the median price of Abbotsford Detached, it's actually gone down slightly month over month, 0.8%. Townhouses in Abbotsford are at $732,100, and that's an increase of 42.2% from last year and an increase of 7% from uh, the month before. Apartments in Abbotsford are $523,400, an increase of 47.5% from last year and an increase of 5.8% from the month before. However, the median price for apartments in Abbotsford went down month over month just point. In Mission Detached, benchmark prices for detached homes is $1,285,200. That's an increase of 44.8% from last year and an increase of 2.5% from the month before. However, the average price of detached homes went down month over month 7.9% and the median price went down 9%. Townhouses in Mission are at 692400 and that's an increase of 37.6% from last year and an increase of 5.7% from the month before. However, the median price of townhouses went down 29.3% from last month, and that's due to just less being sold and the ones that were sold sold for, sold for a lot less. And the average price for townhouses month over month went down 10.4%. In Mission, apartments are at $501,600. That's an increase of 28.7% from last year and an increase of 4% from the month before. And then White Rock, so detached prices are at $2,117,100, an increase of 30.3% from last year and an increase of 3.8% from the month before. However, in White Rock, median and average prices went down a little bit month over month, uh, average about 8%. Townhouses in White Rock are at $1,061,300, an increase of 42.6% from last year and an increase of 1.7% from the month before. And then apartments are at $703,000, an increase of 32.3% from last year and an increase of 5.6% from the month before. In Langley, benchmark detached are at $1,768,000, an increase of 38.2% from last year and an increase of 2.4% percent actually 2.5 sorry from last month however the median and average prices did go down in Langley as well month over month 6.3 percent for medium and 11.3 percent for average townhouses in Langley 877,600 dollars an increase of 38.1 percent still from last year and an increase of 5.6 percent from the month before but again the average and the median prices went down about three percent month over month Apartments at 599800 an increase still of 38.2% from last year and an increase of 3.3% from the month before. But that average price point, again, went down month over month, February to March, 1.3%. Detached in Delta are at $1,586,000, an increase of 39.9% from last year and an increase of 3.2% from the month before. Above median and average prices month over month went down on average about 4.5%. Townhouses are at 901,800, still an increase of 46.9% from last year and an increase of 4.6% from the month before. Those are benchmark prices, but again, median and average prices went down almost 20% for townhouses in Delta. Apartments are at 536,900, and that's an increase of 33.9% from last year and an increase of 5.7% from the month before. And then last, municipality, City of Surrey, benchmark prices for detached are at $1,851,600, an increase of 38.5% from last year and an increase of 4.4% from the month before. However, average prices went down almost 5% month over month. Townhouses are at 935200 an increase of 43.4% from last year and an increase of 5.1% from the month before, but the average prices had gone down month over month 1.4%. Apartments are at 580200 an increase of last year of 36.1%, and an increase month over month of 4.4%. And that is your favorite Valley Real Estate statistics for March 2022. And I would imagine if people, for example, want to get their hands on these stats, there's probably a place they can go. MichelleCummins.ca. We're going to take a quick break. We're back with more right after this.
And we're back. It's time for segment number two of the Cummins Real Estate Group show with Michelle Cummins and myself, Curtis Pope. And, of course, we have a special guest. And and usually this is where we rely on Michelle to give us one of her big, world-famous intros. But she's thrown me a curveball today, I understand. It's not hardball. It's softball tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> so Betty Lou Faw. I have known Betty Lou Faw for... A long time now. Well, I mean, not 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 my whole lifetime, but uh, long enough to know her, and she is a delight to be a service provider and to know. And she offers something that is so unique. I actually, it, it hasn't been a service. I mean, I know a lot of different things that are out there, but this service that she provides is called Send Out Cards, and I have had so much fun with it. And what it is, you could personalize any card you want, like with photos and this and that, you just go online to sendoutcards.com slash her name, Betty Lou, uh, you slash Betty Lou. But anyways, it's all going to be on my website. Uh, so people can have a look at it and it'll be all over um, the place for you to find. But she, it, it's a real great service because it's quick and it's personalized, but not only are they cards, but you can also send gifts and it's all on your computer in five minutes or less or whatnot. Anyways, I'm going to let her tell you about it and explain how she got into it. And Betty Lou, welcome on our show. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. So how did I get into Send Out Cards? So uh, my family and I and my husband, of course, we, we were overseas for quite a number of years. So all of my children's growing up here, basically. Uh, we came back to Canada, and uh, I have a lot of family. My, my sisters and my brother and my husband's family, they did a good job at uh, having lots of children. And uh, I just felt like my kids don't know their – they did not grow up with their family. And they, they create, we had a new family for them in China when we lived there. Um, but when we came back, I thought, I, I heard about send out cards and thought, this is a great way to, uh, stay in contact and, and bring our family back together again so that my, my children, myself as an auntie can, uh, bring, bring us back together like that. So I, that's how I started out in the company. I, I just sent to my family and, and, and close friends. And then what what I did was then I realized that it could also be a business. And so I used it. I started it as a business and being able to service other businesses such as realtors. So that's how it all came about. It's so funny because that's how I started is I started uh, sending to my fr- my family and then mm-hmm. close friends. And I'm all, it's such a great way to touch somebody in a very special, like who gets mail anymore? And then when you get mail that's personalized like that, and then, oh, so I've gotten such great responses. I, you know, I've been sending to friends and, and implementing it in my business. And yeah, I that's how I started, sending to family. Awesome. Yeah, and, and the nice thing about this service, you can send uh, personalized postcards, uh, two-panel, three-panel, uh, flat cards anywhere in the world. So it's very nice. Okay, so now I'm just kind of following along here, and uh, I mean, you guys both know what you're talking about. Me, I have a, a rudimentary understanding of what send out cards is. So, so Betty Lou, maybe you can tell me what exactly what exactly are send out cards. Okay, so it is. Let me just sort of give you our overview thing. It's, it's a connection tool or a relationship development service, enabling people to act on their promptings by providing an online service, which helps users send personalized greeting cards and gifts as a way to say thank you and celebrate. And so how this works, you have an app on your phone or you uh, go to the website on your computer and there's trillions of cards there you can choose from or you can create your own uh, or there's photo drop cards you can throw in photos that you want you personalize it add the address click send it's uh 
printed, stamped, sealed, sent for you. You can even send brownies and, like, little <laughs> treats and cookies and, and, like, special tea breads with tea. Like, there's all sorts of things. It's so fun to, to shop on, on the website. Um, no, Betty Lou, we have a lot of realtors that listen to our show and listen to the podcast and stuff and such. Can you please explain what problems does Send Out Cards offer for realtors? Okay, so it's a way to stay in touch with clients in a tangible way uh, to go along with. I know a lot of people use uh, internet, you know, emails, um, phone calls. This is just a, a tangible touch. And like you, you, you touched on it earlier, Tammy, or Tammy, sorry, Michelle, and said that. I've been called a lot of things, but never Tammy before. Never Tammy. I'm going to start doing it now because it's kind of fun. <laughs> sorry, guys. Anyhow, uh, just a tangible way to um, to stay in touch and top of mind with your clients. So that's one one problem it solves. Um, follow up. Follow up is always uh, a big thing that I think a lot of businesses, a lot of especially cell phone businesses, um, they uh, fall short in this area. It can be used as a way of advertising. I know some realtors that that is their advertising. It's just sending cards and gifts. And it also is a way to help retain clients and customers. And there's that saying, you know, right, Michelle, that says um, it's easier to or cheaper to retain, maintain a customer than it is to get new ones. Yes. Follow up and, and, and staying in contact are huge mm-hmm. for Every and any business. Exactly. Okay, we touched on this a little bit, but what exactly does send out cards offer? I know that Michelle touched on it, like brownies and stuff, which really got my attention. (laughs) All right, give me your address. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so uh, there's a system, and in the system it offers, you can uh, CRM, or you can add all of your contacts. All of your contacts can be in there. And you can, uh, just with a click of a button, bring up the contact that you want and send the card. There's, uh, you can even go as far as having your own hand font and signature included and, and put that into your card. Um, it also notifies you for birthdays and anniversaries if, if you want to go that, you know, that deep into relationships with your clients. Um, And it's a connection relationship marketing system that will generate business, but it'll also uh, a system that can bring the human race together by sharing kindness with cards, with gifts, and treating people really the way they deserve. So for for a busy realtor, there's also a virtual assistant that that it offers. Um, And so it produces, uh, you can help you organize your clients. Uh, so birthdays, addresses, it helps with social media posts and sending to keep, again, you top of mind. And it has the auto where you can set up if you have, like, different birthdays. Like, you can do it in the beginning of the year and all your family members, all your clients, uh, uh, your friends. You can sort of set it up for all, all in any events throughout the year to automatically send out whenever you want. So you don't, you could almost organize it that way too, which is really neat. Exactly. So we just call that the, the uh, create and, and forget method, right? Mm-hmm. You set it up with the dates you want to send out cards throughout the, the year and, and it's done for you. So it, it's really nice that way. One of the big questions a lot of people have is what the what does it cost? What does the service cost? And I know there's different things you can you can do with it, but it's an okay. Insight. So with with the cost, it it all of course depends on your budget. Now you can start as low as just if you just want to start try out the system, you can send a card and it'll cost like two seventy five for a card just a basic account where, and and then there'll be postage on top of that. And then we have different subscriptions. So say you send a few cards out in a month, but not a lot. Uh, we have a $37 uh, 
a month uh, subscription where you can send out 30 cards, either heartfelt or system cards. So the system cards would be like the ones you were just talking about, Michelle, uh, where you can uh, put dates on them and send them out throughout the year. And then we have three different unlimited uh, subscriptions, one's at 97. And that one there, you can send out as many heartfelt cards throughout the month as you want anywhere in the world, and postage is included with that. That is great. Thank you so much, Betty Lou. I can't believe how quickly the time goes by, but thank you so much for coming on and sharing the service that you provide, which is lovely, uh, and it touches the hearts of many people. And so thank you. Thank you for having me. Nice to meet you too, Curtis. Well, thank you. And Betty Lou, we should probably ask you now, if people want more information about Send Out Cards, where can they go? So they can go to uh, www.sendoutcards.com dot or slash you slash Betty Lou. Nice and easy. Yes. And that you is just a lowercase letter yes. instead of Y-O-U. It's just you. Yes, just letter U, yeah. Thank you for uh, explaining that. Yes. You're welcome. Okay, and now I've got some upcoming listings I must share with everyone. And if you or anybody you know are looking for a home that's not on the market yet, I've got a few coming soon and a few brand new listings. So the coming soon I've got is one off Kenny. That is in Mission across from the Sportsplex. If you know that location, it's the west side of Mission. It's beautiful. And the views are just outstanding. It's just open and this property is built into was built in 2003 and it's almost an acre and it has a suite and it's private and it's awesome it's got huge vaulted ceilings and a triple garage the garage is really deep and big it's got 220 power in there it's got it's so cute it's fenced in the back it's it's a gated property so keep an eye on that uh, one next week and we've got one off high view coming up and this is a subdividable property in Abbotsford on the south side of the highway uh, that is subdividable it's a really cool awesome house but it's going to really be uh, for those investors and builders out there and developers and that one's priced at a million six hundred and ninety eight thousand nine hundred that is coming also probably by the end of next week and then the third one is uh all in mission back in mission it's a five acre christmas tree farm right off the amazing exposure of low heat highway and it would make a perfect nursery and it has two residences and a huge workshop so contact me for more information on that. That's coming up probably in a week and a half from now. And then the three newest listings, there's one out on Mount Woodside. It's at 1479 Highlands Boulevard with a vast view of the Fraser River and mountains. If you know Mount Woodside, it's a beautiful Highlands uh, community, Harrison Highlands. And it's, this is a rancher with a full walkout basement. It was built really to be a bed and breakfast. Uh, but it's never been used as one, so it definitely can facilitate that. Uh, it's a 3,300 square feet, and it is fully fenced yard and amazing views. That one's priced at 1650000 and it's literally only a five-year-old house, so it's still under five-year warranty. It's beautiful. Call me today if you want to see that. And then I've got a condo in Upper Montrose, the condo in downtown Abbotsford. It's on it's unit 414, and you can rent in that building. It's a two-bedroom, two-bathroom, only two years new, so it's still covered by the eight-year warranty, almost 900 square foot, and that one's on at 550000 That also just came out uh, yesterday. And then we've got I've got a detached property in Mission, 10,500 square foot property with a house that has a suite in it and it's priced at 1250000 off Diamond Avenue and it's almost 2300 square feet uh, so call me today on that one flat fully usable and it's got future OCP which is overall community plan is for multi-family there so uh, that is a great opportunity and those are the listings and then to end our show with our quote of the week if life does not get better by chance it gets better by change and that's from Jim Rome. Very nice. All right, Tammy. I mean, Michelle, uh, if people want more information about the service you provide, where can they go? MichelleCummins.ca. 
And join us again next week when we will talk real estate in order to unlock your real estate potential on a show where real estate is maximized. Thanks for listening.